I probably got a guitar when I was really young. Um, I never really touched it. It kind of just sat in my room. Um, and for years, you know, I, I never really played much guitar. And then um, in about fifth or sixth grade, Jenny Charles became my teacher, and she kind of had the whole class pick an instrument. And I picked up a guitar, and I kind of haven't stopped playing it since. I've been playing music ever since I was five with Jenny Charles. She's been a really close family friend for my family and a lot of other people close to me. She has been doing driveway jams and different things with me and my little brothers. I've always just been super excited about music because of her and she's gotten me to the point where I am now playing in different bands and up on stage. The, the year that Jenny taught um, our class music, you know, I was, I was fairly engaged. I liked playing the guitar. Um, it was cool to pick up on some things pretty quickly, but um, I didn't really expect that it was something I'd stick with um, until I kind of started doing lessons separately with Jenny and playing more and more every day, every week, learning with Jenny. And that turned into starting to play live more and play with her. And um, the fact that Elia also took lessons through Jenny and had for a while kind of brought us together and playing together live. And I think that really helped. I think my first gig I was 10 or something like that and I played at the farmer's market and that was like, I was super nervous for that. But then I continued playing like at the Dubliner in the village, at the Shammy. Um, I was doing gigs here and there with Declan and just being around Tahoe. Um, when I play in front of a live audience, I, you know, I, I feel pretty calm. I don't, I don't get too stressed out usually. Um, I feel like it's a pretty cool thing to be in front of that many people. and and make people feel stoked and um, it's just, it's cool to, you know, see people enjoying something that you can do and that, that you enjoy. And then we got to play at Music in the Park in Tahoe City and then I played at Music in the Park in Truckee and being the energy of performing is just amazing. Playing recently at the Truckee Regional Park was pretty cool. Um, I think it was a fun experience to play in front of such a hometown crowd and um, see so many familiar faces and um, get to talk to people after and see what they thought and um, just kind of get a different opinion on maybe how I'm, how I'm perceiving my um, journey of playing the guitar versus what they think of, of how I'm doing. Um, I think it was really cool to play in front of that many people as well. You know, growing up with Eli, I've been in school with her since kindergarten and we never really, you know, sh shared an interest for music until we were older, but um, I think it was really cool once it clicked and we started to play together a lot and we started to, you know, egg each other on and get better and better and dare each other to play places live and um, kind of show off our skill a little bit more and that led us to playing bigger and bigger gigs and um, all around the Tahoe area from playing at the Chamois to the Old Dubliner and um, small events for friends and um, jumping on big stages with local musicians and it's been really cool to see how we've kind of grown up playing music with each other and how far it's gone. Through music, there's a super cool community that I've met so many people through like jams at Alibi or I go to this camp in the summer called Big Sur Fiddle Camp. I've met so many people that are similar to me and enjoy the same things that I do. And I think that through music, it's something that even the most different people can connect on. Like at concerts, there's the most strange people and normal people and like whatever kind of person but they all enjoy the same thing so it's like a community in a way but I think that being able to talk about music with people and like having this general understanding like oh you play guitar too that's super cool like we can have something to talk about now and it's like learning about what people are interested in music and like what kind of music they like is tells a lot about a person and can say a lot about how they think in certain things because I know for me it does like I only think in music and it's like the only thing that makes sense to me. My favorite part of playing the guitar recently has, um, you know, being able to reach out to people that, you know, I might not play with all the time or that I've, you know, new people I've met. Um, but um, just, you know, seeing what they do and how they play and um, maybe even putting some things together before we even meet. And uh, I think it's really cool how I, once you meet someone, you can just play right play right with them. It's interesting to see how how different musicians play and their stories and how they share 
songs and how they grew up playing guitar or how they got interested in it. And so I feel like there's not not one genre to like, but just to understand how, how different people discovered their style of music. Uh, I've started writing some songs on the guitar um, and I haven't, I found it pretty hard to come up with lyrics and things to match it, but I find it really fun to explore around and every time you write something new or come up with a lick, it kind of feels like you're going to the next chapter or moving on because you're adding in new licks and new things that you're learning and it kind of advances what you're able to show. I think when I'm songwriting, most of it comes out of the most normal things. Like I wrote a song about all the stuff on my walls because my mom made a comment about how my wall, my room is extremely overwhelming because everything, there's like no blank space on my wall. But then like to me it means a lot because everything has its own place. And so I think that when I write songs, things come to me. So it's like I'm sitting there and I can try to force lyrics, but they don't come. Or I'll be like sitting there and like figure out a little riff that I like, some chords that I like, and then just like look around and be like, huh, I could write about the bed frame I used to have, or I could write about the pictures I have on my wall and that that has a meaning. So I just run with certain things like that that are pretty simple because songwriting seems really complicated to a lot of people, but in general it's just feelings in like words put to music and melodies, things like that. 